What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Flores Report. I'm your host, Danny Flores. Get right on a chicken pollo, guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Must Be Cindy because I don't know if you guys remember, she went live with Rosalie and they had a whole back and forth. But later that night, she actually, and when I mean she, I mean Cindy, went live and said a little bit more. So, as always, guys, before we get started, go grab your snacks, come back, sit back, and relax because I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's just literally going to be my reaction to it. So, you know what? Let's just, let's just get right into it. Let's get right into it. No tengo mucho tiempo. So, uh, let's, let's do it. My life, you guys. And when I tell you, like, she has literally done, if not the same. So, then this other girl that comes and reaches out today, she's like, yeah, she's whole ass good friends with Carissa. Like, she's had a lot of involvement with the things that Chris has done to you. And that shit freaked me the fuck out. Like, it freaks me the fuck out that there's... Wait, 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 wait. She said, okay, so she's speaking about Rosalie here. I was on that live, but allegedly Rosalie was involved with the whole whatever Carissa's doing with uh, with Cindy. What? Okay, yo no me esperaba esto. Okay, all right, let's 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 just keep watching. There's people out here that are fucking like that against me and call me crazy, call me drama, call me whatever the fuck you want. If you are dealing with this shit with people, what the fuck are you going to do? Stay quiet about it, or are you not gonna fucking tell people that this is on some fucking weird ass shit? Like, for no reason, guys. No reason. I didn't steal your man. I didn't fuck your man. I didn't do anything to hurt you. I've never okay. done anything to hurt these two people, like, individually, that I've done something to fucking affect their life to the point where they want that for me. No, I've never, not once. They can't even tell you. Like, they literally can't even fucking tell you that that's the case and so today when you know i hopped on danny's live and i was like dude i'm done with this bitch like whether she did nothing or not she didn't have to she was literally commenting and just being stupid like on the comments you know she's like <laughs> i was just on here supporting my friend so then when i, I listen i gotta be honest i gotta be honest rosalie does come on my live frequently uh every time i'm live it, it seems like she's there um it was a big ass coincidence that she was there when um when cindy was there and i don't know according to rosalie she didn't know what was going on she was just there like she entered the chat and sent me a galaxy if you guys were in that live the whole galaxy is now an inside joke okay <laughs> literally her sending me a galaxy is an inside joke only people that were in that live would get it but uh yeah i mean <laughs> it was just a coincidence that must be cindy was there rosalie was there it was just Un pedo, un pedo, okay? But uh, yeah, let's continue. I called her out and I was like, dude, she did this, this, and this, and they told me this, this, and this, and I was like, ask her, ask her to tell you. What did she do when she's on the live with him? What did she do when she's on the live with him? She's like, and which, mind you guys, anybody that has ever gone through any of the things that she's been through, I am not invalidating it. I'm not saying that it's not right. Like, I'm not saying like, it doesn't matter. It matters, everything she's ever been through, her domestic fight, whatever the f she's been through, it is valid. But you're talking about something that I'm accusing you of and I have, that has absolutely nothing to do with anything that you're going through with that or you've gone through and you bring it up and you're like, and you're bringing it up like in a story where it does not even go. What does that tell you? Okay, listen, I said this in my live uh, two days ago. I have to agree with Cindy here. Look, I know a lot of people say I'm really close with Rosalie, okay? And I don't really go in on her, blah, blah, blah. Guys, you have to realize, I told you guys this so many times. It doesn't matter if I'm your friend. I'm still going to talk about a situation. People were calling me biased. I don't think I was biased. I was just asking questions. But anyways, going back to Cindy's point, Cindy made the point of, you know, we were talking about this and then you bring up your trauma. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. And Rosalie, if you're watching this, I'm sorry if you do get hurt. But I've been noticing this a lot lately, too. Um, and listen, I, I'm on your side with you going through what you went through and it's nothing to, you know, it's nothing to downplay because what, what you went through is, is massive. It's big, but it, she has a point. Why is it that when it comes to, you know, some other drama, you bring up the past and listen, listen, I've been noticing this, uh, for a while, not just with Cindy, but, and yeah, I do agree. I have to agree okay i'm just saying it how it is how i'm looking at it um but okay let's 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 continue like what does that tell you you know and it's like upsetting and it and it causes like 
it causes like oh this feeling in my stomach it ustedes no saben like done with those two bitches beyond that i'd rather you guys know what the fuck is up with it so that when you guys see them saying things now you know what the fuck it is with the both of them and now they are not fucking one-upping me and they're not fucking ahead of me because my ass is fucking quiet and feel like i fucking deserve everything that they're fucking doing to me like no you know and then there was all kinds of people in the comments okay there's all kinds of people in the comments bringing other shit up que ni al caso que también les voy a decir y se los voy a dejar bien clarito okay i don't know how the fuck you guys are with your families i don't know how you guys are with your families but it it's very clear that the very few people because it wasn't a lot that were on there saying that me and my sister-in-law have been beefing and that we don't fuck with each other that she doesn't like me i don't like her that we're not happy for each other if you're fucking ugly like that with your family <laughs> that's on you but okay let me pause this here because a lot of people might not know who her sister-in-law is or who who her sister-in-law is so if you don't know, her sister-in-law is Vani Red. I believe that's her name on Facebook, TikTok, wherever, all social media, right? And yes, people in the comments when that live happened, they were like, yo, something regarding Cindy not liking Vani, right? Uh, you know, I was like, what the, what the hell is going on? Why are you guys bringing up Vani in this situation? Yo no sabia. I didn't know what was going on. But yeah, I, I do have to agree. Like, don't bring up other people when it's like, someone versus someone right here on the live but then you bring others but i'm gonna say say everyone has a, an opinion everyone has an opinion and uh they do what they want so yeah i just thought it was weird they brought up vani they brought up the mom which she'll talk about it right now and i have to agree with her but yeah i just thought it was weird people were bringing up other people on my live and i was like yo yo, yo what the hell's going on this is from like this is Cindy versus Rosalie. Why are you guys bringing up other people here? Sorry, I can't. Apparently, I can't talk today either. Um, but yeah. But let me tell you something, okay? I picked my sister up one day from the fucking airport, and I was launching my merch, and I told her, "Hey, I'm launching you with this person. Here's the fucking hookup. I got you. I'm always looking out for my family. I'm always trying to do good for my fucking family. I'm not hating on my fucking family. I don't want." bad shit for my family for my family not to grow and if you don't want to see that and you want to see everything besides that speaks volumes about you and not me because if there's one thing i've always done is be there for my fucking family be there for her be there for everyone she's been there for me and there's no fucking beef so y'all reflect on your guys's own shit no beef and even if there was a fucking anything you know what i mean like hating ass bitches will literally like see one story and then they'll start fucking like adding a million other ones to try to get people against you. Don't do that shit, bitch. Because if there's one thing that like, don't, just don't. And I lo quería dejar en claro porque no hagan problemas donde no están. You know, she does her thing. I do my thing. I love her. She loves me. That's been my sister-in-law my whole entire fucking life. And don't fucking do that shit. Okay, don't do it. And that's it. Now, that is number two. <laughs> <laughs> number fucking three <laughs> don't fucking follow me if you don't fucking like me jesus like all these not the jesus jesus <laughs> we need the boots let me see if this works um nope it's not working sorry guys I, I owe you guys that one these bitches that were on there talking mad shit top followers yeah me caigo a la verga <laughs> Me caigo a la verga y me levanto. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. Like, todas. Dijeras, ay, pues, they don't follow me. They don't like me. They don't follow me. Yeah, I stopped fucking with her a long time ago. Really, bitch? Because you're still following me. And you're very kept up with a lot of things. So, that's crazy. <laughs> Damn. Like, I'm just like, bro. And I told, like... Yeah, I don't get it. I, I deal with the same thing almost all, all the time, which, I mean... Bro, if you don't like my cheese, man, if you don't like how I spill the cheese, man, like, why are you literally following me? Like, I don't understand why people follow people that they don't like, that they hate. That's wild to me. But I guess they want to keep up with our lives. It is what it is. Like, you know, my sister and Brandon, I'm like, I'm done with these fucking people fucking with me. Like, I'm done. I'm not letting anybody fuck with me anymore. Don't paint a fucking narrative. I've told you guys this once. And for the ones that are over there, like, oh, my God. And she's always playing the victim card. And she's always. Let me tell you, if, and if a bitch, if anybody, anybody had anything to fucking say about me that I've fucking done to them, that's the first motherfucking thing they're going to come on here and do. Okay? No one's going to keep it to themselves because they're. <laughs> Lola enters the chat. <laughs> 
afraid of me because they're this so if no one has popped up ask yourself that bitch i've just gone through a bunch of shit with a lot of people because let me tell you that's the first thing anybody would do anybody anybody and no one has no one fucking has you know oh i think this is a hating part. bro like so unless you have a whole bunch of fucking lined up stories like i fucking do of the shit that i've gone through with people then you could fucking say that i'm sitting here playing the victim but where's the other side of the motherfucking stories there's never been one you know so pay attention to that before you're a salty ass talking about oh she plays victim no baby some people are just dumb like me Baby and fucking terrible. give themselves to the fucking world and go through a lot of fucking dumb shit before they realize that they're fucking being dumb as fuck. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I had all of that shit to say tonight. Cindy's minion? Stop. <laughs> you know, like, like, ask yourself that. Like, ask yourself that before you okay so that that's pretty much what she said uh, then later on she goes on uh, more a little bit more of a more of a rant um and then she she does a haul okay uh but in conclusion guys i do think listen rosalie i'm gonna be i'm gonna be straight up honest rosalie is the only person that i've i've met or that i've talked about that brings receipts rosalie is the only one that brings receipts and this is my opinion and this is what i'm seeing this is what i saw for the past few years Every time someone says, yo, this and this or this person told me this, they never have receipts. I'm going to just tell you straight up. Um, and with all due respect, Cindy said Cindy mentioned someone told her that Rosalie was reporting Cindy to the Better Business Bureau. I it's hard to get receipts on that just because I know it's word of mouth. I know a friend. I, I don't want to name names. But I bet it was them. And listen, I know I'm being messy right now, but. Um, it's just assumptions, baby. It's just assumptions at this point. But um, yeah, at this point, it's word of mouth. Um, but yeah, I feel like the the proof Cindy might have might not be even proof just because it was a word of mouth. And as as long as the friend to that told her actually has text messages of, Rosalie, of Rosalie saying, yo, I, I reported her ass to the BBB. Like, I want to see those. I, I literally want to see those. That way we could shut everyone up, right? We could shut everyone up. But I, I have to say, man, I have to give it up to Rosalie. At this point, she's the only one. She has been the only one that has brought receipts to the table. And not just with this cheese man. And with other with other cheese man I covered regarding Rosalie and her ex-friends. You know, uh, I forgot their names. Um, what's, that guy? what's that guy's name? Used to be an assistant. Dude, why am I blanking out right now? I covered anyways, you guys know comment down below his name. Dude, dude, I forgot his name. Omar? Gabe. Gabe. There you go. Gabe. There is it. I don't know, guys. Comment down below what's his name. But yeah, I don't know. This is this was just a cheese I wasn't expecting. Honestly, I didn't even know Cindy and Rosalie knew each other from back in the day. Um, I yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was just on live and they say, you know what? Let's do it here right now, right here, right now. Um, but yeah, guys, I do want to get your opinions on this situation. Sorry if I sounded like I was ranting. Um, I haven't done YouTube in a minute. <laughs> if you guys follow me on TikTok, I've been there mostly and uh, I go live there. So if you guys want to follow me, follow me at the Flores Report. I'll be live today, literally probably in an hour or so. Um, so yeah, make sure to go follow me, guys. I, I, actually, I might do a live here too. So I might be yeah, never mind. I might be live here and on TikTok at the same time. So I don't know. We'll see. But either way, follow me to get the latest updates on everything. Literally, cheese man, pop culture, celebrity cheese man, anything, guys, over there on TikTok. But yeah, let me know your opinions on this situation down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.